so the next topic is a bessel's integral formula so the question is state what is the bessel's integral formula is that the bessel's integral formula is the bessel's function is equal to 1 upon pi 0 to integration from 0 to pi cos n theta minus x into sin theta d theta for any integer n we can have this formula let us try to discuss the proof for this Bessel's integral formula so we know that by generating function of the Bessel's function that is the generating function of j n of x that is a Bessel's function is e power x by 2 into t minus 1 upon t equal to summation n running from minus infinity to plus infinity j n of x into t power n now if i put let t equal to e power i theta if i substitute that value here instead of t i am substituting e power i theta that is euler's identity so that will gives you that e power x by 2 into e power i theta minus e power minus i theta because if t is e power i theta 1 upon t will be e power minus i theta and on the other side we have that is equal to summation running n running from minus infinity to plus infinity j n x into e power i theta power n but you can see that e power i theta which is by all this formula it is cos theta plus i sin theta and e power minus i theta is cos theta minus i sin theta and if i add subtract this two and this will be minus and this will become plus so we'll have e power i theta minus e power minus i theta by two will become two i sin theta okay so sorry here i have not divided by two so that means this e power i theta minus e power minus i theta will be two times i sin theta and this divided by two is already there so that's why i can write down by two I remove 2 from here and then I divide that 2 here so that will gives you this i sin theta so therefore we can say this is e power x into i sin theta equal to summation n and from minus infinity to plus infinity j n of x e power i n theta so hence by Euler's formula, that is, this is what we can write is cos n theta plus i sin n theta. So this is equal to summation n running from minus infinity to plus infinity. J n x is cos n theta plus i sin n theta. And by Euler's formula, this I can write down by the same in this instead of theta we have i sin theta here sorry x sin theta here so this is cos x sin theta plus i sin x sin theta so this is the quantity we got by euler's formula we can have this now we can equate the real and imaginary part of this so by comparing real and imaginary part we get x into sorry cos 
x into sin theta will be basis function into cos and theta so therefore we can have cos x into sin theta equal to summation n and from minus infinity to plus infinity j n x into cos n theta we call this is as 1 and sin x into sin theta that is of comparing the imaginary part summation n running from minus n to plus n produce sin this is function into sin n theta we call this is as equation 2 and this we will have for fix let us fix for some fix integer m multiply equation 1 by cos m theta and equation 2 by sin m theta and then add cos m theta into cos x into sin theta plus sin m theta into sin x into sin theta so what we will do is we we'll multiply this first equation by cos m theta the second equation by sin m theta and then add them so we'll have this side on the right hand side we we'll have and on the left hand side we can have summation n running from 0 minus infinity to plus infinity this j is common out inside bracket we'll have cos n theta cos m theta plus sin n theta sin m theta so this side is by using the cos alpha plus beta we will have it is cos m theta minus x sin theta plus summation n running from minus into to plus into to j n of x is there this is also using the formula of cos we will have cos n theta minus sin m theta so this cos m theta minus sin sorry n theta now we will integrate both side integrating from 0 to pi with respect to theta we get integration from 0 to pi cos m theta minus x into sin theta d theta is equal to summation n running from minus infinity to plus infinity j n x integration from 0 to pi cos m minus n theta d theta now let us see what is this integration is let us concentrate on this integration i am calling this equation as the third equation so now what will happen to this 0 to pi cos m minus n theta d theta so according to this integration the integration of cos we know it is a sin so it is sin m minus n theta upon m minus n theta limit is 0 to pi pi provided m is not equal to n if it is equal to n then we have a problem so if it is not equal then we have this and we substitute pi here the sign we know that sin k pi is 0 and sin 0 is 0 so that's why this is 0 so if m is not equal to n we have this is the answer and if m equal to n then that integration 0 to pi cos m minus n k 
theta d theta will be cos 0 to pi. So we'll have m equal to n, this will be 0. Cos 0 is 1, so it is 1 theta. So in that case, the answer is pi. So from 3 we have that is from 3 this quantity survive when this m equal to n that means this value of n is m at that time the value will be pi otherwise it will be 0 so therefore this side is as it is but there we will have a summation uh, integration 0 to pi cos n theta minus x sin n theta sorry sin theta d theta equal to pi into j n of x so finally we will have j n of x will be 1 upon pi integration 0 to pi cos here it is m is there so this is also m so that says cos m theta minus x sin theta d theta if i replace this m by n we will have our formula that is basel's integral formula we have 